name is George Schindler. I'm the world's greatest magician, the Dean of American Magicians. I'm the ninth one in the history of the, of the society. Well, like all other kids, uh, you, you see a magic magician somewhere. I live in Brooklyn, New York, we're near Coney Island. And Coney Island is known for a big amusement area. And I went, I saw a magician there called the Great Thornton. And he had a glass on, on, on a table and a bottle on the other table, and they changed places. So every Saturday, I went to see this guy, and he did the same darn trick. After a while, I figured out how he did it. So I went home and I made up a set for myself, and that was it. But then I saw a magician in school. A guy threw a, go, a, a, a fishing line into the audience and caught a fish. I thought it was, and we swam in a bowl. I said, I gotta do that trick. And I was fascinated, you, you know, it, it took me 40 years to learn that before I found out how he did it. Because after that, I got so interested in magic, I started fiddling around. And then for Hanukkah, you know what Hanukkah is? It's, a, it's like a Jewish Christmas. Uh, my mother gave me a magic set and that was the end of it. There was, there was no going back. If you know anything about show business, you don't work every week and you don't work every day. And you needed something to, to keep in the background. And I, I, I wrote a book and we started marketing the book and all of a sudden people asked me to write scripts. I was a, a gag writer for a while. And ventriloquists used to ask me to write scripts, but they, they couldn't get vent figures. So I found a guy who made vent figures. And I went to business. I was selling ventriloquist dolls and as the business got bigger, I added magic and books. So I still have the business. If you want to buy it, I got a good, good deal for you right now. The magic that we do today is an art. It has been an art for many, many years. Uh, magic, it, first of all, let, let's, let's establish magic. Uh, there are all kinds of magic. Some people years ago thought magic was, was something with the devil. Our magic is to entertain people. And if I wanted to fool people, I'd go into politics or something like that. But entertainment is our function, and, and entertainment is very valuable, especially now in troubled times. And it has been when I was a kid, uh, after the Depression, again, it was magic who kept people alive and hoping something better was going to happen, and we can make it happen. Magicians can do that. But as, as kids, we didn't have the SYM that we have today, which is remarkable. You had little groups. There was a group in California, the Long, the Long Beach Mystics, a group in New York, a couple of guys in Kachaga. But the guys who were mentored went ahead with it. And a lot of us, like I, I had mentoring in a magic shop, I worked in a magic shop. The guys who worked in the magic shops had a better opening to the show business because we had access to great knowledge. But mentors are very important. That's why I love the SYM in particular. We have a great mentoring program, really. The world needs magic more now than it ever did. If you look around you know, your newspapers and on television, the world's in a lousy shape. And magicians can make it happy. Wouldn't it be nice if you can reach up in the air and really get money? Magicians can do that. Wouldn't it be nice if everybody was happy? Magicians could do that. So it gives us hope. And entertainment is so valuable today, whether it's comedy or magic, but magic in particular. We can make things that are impossible, possible. And we're doing it. SAM is, is my whole my life is magic, and I, I, I'm very thankful that they took me in when I was a kid and, and said, hey, you're not that bad. I wrote a book on ventriloquism, by the way, and, and uh, I teach it now. So, uh, is that what he said? Yeah, he did, yeah. Mm -hmm.